Hey guys, welcome back to the card review series. So today we are looking at an XC coming out in Duelist Alliance. It's already out in OCG, and god, this card is so good. Like, wow. The extra deck is just too strong. Just too strong for just these generic answers to everything. So the card we're looking at is Castell the Avion Sky Blaster. It is a win wing beast XC effect. Ranked 4, 2000 attack, 1500 attack. It is generic and it's made with just two level 4 monsters, that's it. Now let's go over this effect. You can only use the effect of... You can only use one Castell the Avion Sky Blaster effect once per turn, and only once that turn. You can attach one extra material from this card, then target one face-up monster on the field, change that monster to face-down defense position. Alright, so, he pretty much has a monster joke effect, so... Castell plus 101 equals my stroke out of a job. Like, you know, we were kind of thinking, like, you know, maybe we can keep my stroke in there, you know, maybe, I mean, we might want to set something, and, and, you know, he has the protection effect like 101. Nope, nope, he, he is pretty much out of a job. His stats don't even matter. He pretty much, he just took his two effects, split into two cards that were better than him, and now he is done. He is out of the job. Sorry, my stroke. You, you were literally the best to see that we had at the beginning, you know. Pretty much all we had was Utopia and you, and you were obviously better than Utopia, so... Uh, but now, you know, we just move on from you, and the XCs get better and better and better and better, and now you're just out of a job. I'm sorry. I thought I thought that, you know, that 101 was already the nail in your coffin, but, you know, people, I still saw, still saw some people playing it in the extra deck. They were like, you know what? Sometimes I want to just set that monster and just run it over. Well, now, look, Castell can do it, and he can do more, and it's not that effect that which makes him really good. It's his second effect. Which reads, you can attach two Xeer materials from this card, target one face-up card in the field, and shuffle that back that target back into the deck. Yeah. Yeah, put the put the card back. Take, take that face-up card, put it back in the deck, shuffle it. That is so fucking powerful. That is one of the... that, that I think that's literally the worst place you can send a freaking card, is back to the deck. You know, some cards don't mind being removed from play, some cards don't mind going in the graveyard, some cards don't mind going back to the hand. But going back to that damn deck is the worst place you can go. Because if you would have some effect that when you remove from the field, you don't get it, they're losing a resource, they may draw into it if they don't want to draw into it later, you don't even know, just shuffling it back. You know, because there's cards that you can go ahead and get your card back from the graveyard or grab it from removing from play, but shuffling it back into the deck is powerful. And keep in mind, it said shuffle one face up card card, not much card. So, for example, if your opponent has an annoying as um, supply unit, supply unit on the field, you can just take this guy, take that supply unit, shuffle it back into that. You don't need to plus right now, just no, no, alright? So, yeah, cards. Pesky field spell, put them back in the, to the deck. Um, if you want, you can shuffle their tanky back into the deck. I mean, it's not the smartest move in the world, but you could, you know. Uh, a pesky royal decree, put that back into the deck, you know. So, just cards, period, and shuffle it back into the deck. Now, as a U-Bell player, I like this card because, you know, it's a, it's another good generic card. So, you know, has more answers to, answers to everything. But I hate this card because now I'm not safe with Terror, you know. Lately, I've been putting Terra Incarnate in defense mode. 101 can't eat me. You know, if they summon Black Ship, I still get my effect. This guy, if he, if they summon this guy on me, even with Terra in defense mode, and they shuffle Terra back into my deck, I do not get Ultimate Nightmare. So that's gonna suck, but... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not safe with Terra anymore. Oh, wow. And what can I say? I mean, it's just good just to have this card. I really think that this is, um, you know, an extra deck staple. Definitely, it's another card to have in your in your arsenal of things. You know, there's some things that you don't want 101 to handle. That this guy can go ahead and come out and just you know put it back into the deck and shuffle it. You know, so I don't know. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card. Like I said, I think it's a really good card, and I do think that it's definitely gonna get pay, pl paid, uh, played. I'm sorry, uh, I actually have kind of like uh, a cold now in the summer. I know, so. Uh, apologize for me speaking in this video and maybe upcoming videos. Uh, but, you know, despite me being sick, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, fight through it and continue producing content for you guys. Anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think. Like I said, I think it's gonna be an extra deck staple. Another card in the arsenal. And, you know, extra deck's getting full, guys. You know, uh, not only do you have to have your own, you know, uh, uh, archetype extra deck monsters, but now you gotta have, you know, 101, this, Exiton, uh, you know, some people will play Black Ship, 103, 
uh, cowboy dweller, so, you know, it's just, the arsenal is getting really, really full, so, you know, maybe Konami could extend it to 20, please? Please? No, I doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we just kind of have to make, uh, make room for these cards. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of the Card Review Series. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to be looking at. Thanks for watching.